Howdy YouTube, Darlington Farm here, just over here in the wood shop, trying to finish up a kind of a long day. Oh, here's the cabinet I've been working on. Uh, I've been trying to finish this sucker up here because I need the space. I've got some 10 foot long arches to make here. There's the uh, tracing right there. Uh, but those suckers are 10 feet long and they got to be made in one piece, so I need the, need the space. <laughs> Oh, but yeah, here's the uh, the cabinet I uh, was uh, working on. It's a quarter sawn white oak. Um, just uh, trying to finish it up here as quickly as possible and get it out of the shop. Uh, about all I have left to do is there's a couple places, um, like this crack right here just didn't get as tight as I wanted, so I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of wood filler in there and then uh, just sand it and uh, do the... Uh, die finish on it like here uh, where it kind of has a little bit of a dichromate look but uh, yeah it's uh, just about finished all I need to do is make the drawer and uh, I will be done with it and I can just go ahead and get it out of here uh, a lot more poplar a lot more trim to run um, found a local source for uh, hardwoods if you're uh, kind of around uh, Indianapolis or um, Crawfordsville Cooper's Custom Hardwoods is a really nice guy, just kind of down the road from me here. Uh, you know, he runs it out of his uh, out of his house, but he's got, uh, must have a huge property. I'm guessing, you know, at least, you know, probably 200 acres worth of woods. And he uh, has a really nice kiln, a uh, really nice shop. He's got a straight line rip, a molder, and, you know, a whole bunch of other stuff there. And usually has 30,000, 40,000 board feet in stock. So if you're uh, in the area there, check out Cooper's Custom Hardwoods. Um, his prices are really competitive, especially if you're down in Indianapolis. Um, they, his prices definitely kick the crap out of uh, Northwest Lumber and the other suppliers down there. Uh, really nice looking um, quarter sawn white oak there. You know, he uh, uh, kiln dries all his own stuff there. Um, I think this poplar, however, I think he bought this. Uh, you know, uh, but uh, yeah, like the uh, stuff that he has uh, dried is just beautiful. And he... Uh, has a really fancy extrema surfacer there that joints and planes all in one pass. Really neat. Got to have one of those. I uh, really want one. Uh, but anyway, yes, long day. I'm rambling. Uh, thanks for watching. Click, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned. I'll uh, get some video up of uh, making those arches.